the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have arrived in Nigeria to promote the Invictus Games. Our Royal Correspondent, Laura Bundock, can tell us more. Uh, Laura, bring us up to speed on what they're doing. Well, the Harry and Meghan show is back on the road. They have arrived in Nigeria. And for the next three days, we will see them out and about carrying out a number of engagements. It's not a royal tour. Remember, they're not working royals. This is a private visit. But with a number of engagements, it's all very much being played out in public. So their first stop as they landed together was at this school, um, the Lightway Academy. Um, they were handed these wooden beads. You can see them wearing the wooden beads, arriving to much applause, to cheers, to singing and to dancing. And bear in mind that Harry, while he was in the UK, didn't have much time or his family couldn't find any time to see him. I think the welcome here in Nigeria was certainly much warmer. Meghan reportedly flew in from the States, stayed airside at Heathrow Airport before joining up with Harry and getting on, on that plane. But uh, the reason they went to that school, it was holding a two-day mental health summit. Both Meghan and Harry spoke at the sum summit. Uh, Harry, with his microphone in his hand, talking about the importance of mental health, how there is a stigma attached to it, how there should be no shame in talking about it, before handing the mic over to Meghan, who then said, now you know why I married him how inspiring it was the way Harry spoke about such issues. And she then went to talk about um, how honoured she felt to be in Nigeria. Remember, it was recently that she revealed she had Nigerian heritage. She spoke about that. And as she left that primary school earlier today, she was handed some books about Nigerian heritage, which she said, I'm going to have to read these now. So that's the first of a number of engagements. It is pretty Invictus related. They were invited there following um, a meeting between Harry and Nigerian senior military personnel at the Dusseldorf Invictus Games last year. And later on today, Harry will be visiting a, a military hospital and meeting some of the injured servicemen and women. Um, but that's sort of the theme behind it all. Um, the optics, obviously, though, are, are very much Harry and Meghan back on the road, back out and about together. And meanwhile, as is always the case, it is a tale of two brothers. Prince William, who didn't see Harry earlier this week in the UK, has been visiting the Isles of Scilly. Um, he is, of course, Duke of Cornwall. That's how we talk about him when we're, he's in Scilly. Um, um, and he was there visiting one of the big harbours on the biggest islands and learning more about how the harbour has this role, an important role within the local community there, getting off the boat um, at St Mary's Harbour and sort of learning more about the tourism uh, the tourists who visit there and, and the businesses that are supported by this harbour, including including fishing. But it's his duchy that, that runs the harbour there, so this is all familiar territory for Prince William. Laura, fascinating stuff. Thank you so much.